This is Alfred Complete Level 4, page 28 and 29, Ways of the Danube. I think one of the nicest songs in this book, one that I would even allow a student to do as a recital piece. Uh, it's a relatively challenging piece. Uh, the melody is actually in the left hand. And the right hand is just the background accompaniment with chords. This is a really challenging piece, and I would expect the students will need uh, more than one week to master it. And I would like to emphasize that even though it starts off, it says P, piano, soft, right above the very first note, I really think that's incorrect. I think the soft should be the right hand, and the left hand should be emphasized and should be more forte. So the challenge of this piece is actually playing the left hand loudly while playing the right hand softly. Also has a if you go to page 29 at the end of the second line it says first ending that's what that one with uh, with the line over it says two net strain then second ending now I don't mind or I don't require the students to do the repeats but this is a song that might be a good idea to do the repeats at the very end of the song it says the capo al fini which means go back to the beginning and play to the finish. So you'd go back to page 28, and you'd play the first two lines on the page 29. Then when you get to that where it says one, uh, one to net strain, you would skip that measure and finish the song where it says two, and the song would end like that. All right. Um, I don't. Th I think learn the left hand first. It's not hard. Follow the fingering that's suggested. Okay, and then in the middle of 28, it kind of changes, becomes a different song, becomes more of a waltz. It's in three, four time, it's... Once again, 